Welcome or welcome back. Today we're gonna make more DIYs. We're not gonna make home decor DIYs, but this time we're just gonna make DIYs. First, we're gonna make the chair necklace. I'm so excited for that one. The other DIY we're gonna be making is a beautiful tote bag. We're gonna paint this bag and we're also gonna make probably two body scrubs. I am so excited. Let's just get started. So I have a bunch of stuff. Okay, so to make a necklace, you actually need a bunch of stuff. First, of course, I got some beads. I had these lying around, the white is almost empty, but that's fine. Because we're gonna make cherries, I needed red, and there wasn't red in here, and it was so hard to find, but I had to buy a separate red bead thing. Then, of course, we have some string. It's elastic string. It was the first thing I could find, so I thought, why not? First, we have these. These are so teeny tiny. I don't know the name. You press them down and like the beads stay in place. These little things are like called clasps or something. And we also have some simple rings to like connect it. And we also have the actual thingies, like the opening part. Then I also bought this. These are good to like open and close the rings. That's basically it. I also got some tape and scissors. I got a little bowl to put in the beads. I'm gonna make it as a choker, but I'm gonna get a necklace of mine that I think is the right length. I am gonna cut the thread a little bit longer. Great. I'm gonna tape it down. Okay, I believe it's pretty easy. She just puts in a bunch of white, then one green, two red, and then she pulls it through the green again, and then you have a cherry. That shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Since the white is like kind of empty, I'm gonna use this one. It's a bit creamier. My green, however, is kind of more light green. You're just gonna start with white, of course. I have no idea how much white to put in. Ooh, I think these are gonna end up all over my room. I do notice that the beads are like kind of different sizes. They're not all just one size, but I don't really mind. I don't think it's that noticeable. They're so tiny. I'm not counting. Should I count the beads? So one green, two red. I feel like the red is just a tiny bit smaller than the green. And I think it's actually better if the red is bigger than the green. One green and two red. I'm trying to show you what I'm doing, but it's so, so small. I have one green and two red, and now I'm gonna go through the green again. It's so tiny. Oh, there it is. I have a cherry. I bet you cannot see this at all. I just wanna show you the cherry a little bit up close. This is what it looks like. It's a little cherry. Okay, now we're gonna continue with the white. This time I think I'm gonna count them and I could also measure it just to make sure it's correct. I'm just gonna do three at a time. Because they're so small, you need so many. It's 12. I just want a little bit more space between the cherries. I think this is good. Now we're gonna do another green and two red. This is pretty easy. You just have to have the stuff. Yeah. Cute. I think that's a good like distance apart from each other. More white. Oh, I like this. This is fun. Exactly five centimeters. I'm sorry. I'm such a perfectionist. Ooh, okay. Whoa, that went through right away. The cherries are kind of tight, so it also holds the beads in place. 20 again. Oh my god. Let's pull it through again. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna make one more cherry. A green one, two. Oh my god. Oh, you know what would have been cute if I like put some green or red in between. Oh yeah, it's a little late for that. Oh my god, that was so stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now I'm just gonna finish off with white and I'm gonna even out the ends. I would just link the videos down below of like the videos that I watched for these ideas. The necklace is finished. Now what we need to do is to make like an ending part. So we have this thing. I don't think you can tell what it is, but okay. And then we have this little, like almost button thingy. First, we're gonna put this thing on. Then we're gonna grab this little button thingy and put it on as well. And I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna try and keep it as close to like the beads as possible. And I'm gonna close it. You can barely see what I'm doing myself. Okay, so I pressed the thingy down. It's right here. Now I'm gonna put the string back into the hole of this bottom thing now i'm gonna close this ending part and i'm gonna cut this string off and now we have just a closing part 
And now you can like put a ring through it. Now we have to do the other side. Close it. I'm just gonna open this ring. I'm gonna put it through this hole right here. I'm gonna put this thing through the closing part. I'm gonna add just a few more rings on this side. And now I have a necklace. Oh my God. This is the ending. And at the other side, we have the clothing part. We have a necklace. I'd have to say this is a success. I really like it. It's cute. It turned out really good. Next up, we're gonna paint the bag. I couldn't decide yet on a design. I think I just wanna paint some flowers on it, but I do wanna make them pastel colored. This is kind of what I'm going for, I think. Let's just try and draw it on. <laughs> that looks bad. This looks terrible. Look at that. This is the first flower. This one's gonna be pink. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot of white. Okay, now, oh my god. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm using acrylic paint because the video that I saw, she was using acrylic paint as well. So I tried it out on just a simple bag and it seemed to work fine. So I'm just gonna do it with acrylic paint. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cute. After this, I want to do pastel blue. Not bad, I think. I do think that paint comes out a little darker. It's not ugly, so I don't mind. Wow, look at this. That's actually not bad. I think we're gonna make one like in the corner right here. I'm gonna make blue. I think we're gonna use this one. Some blue. Can you see? Look at that blue. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my God. It wasn't filming. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. <laughs> I don't think you can see what I'm doing, but okay. Ooh, it's such a pretty blue. I like it. I think this is gonna take a while before I did all of them. That's looking so good. Can you see? <laughs> the two flowers are like a little different, but I still like the look of it. Like, I think it looks good. I think I wanna do green right here. I don't know if that's a good spot. We're just gonna go with it. I have like this white. I have no idea if this is gonna be pretty color or not. Okay, I think this is good. Pretty green. I have to say, I think I like these DOIs better than one of my other video, but so far I think these DOIs are also going better. There's like dark stuff in the green. Oh my God, you can really tell. I think I'm just gonna make some new green. Okay, I feel like this one's definitely a bit lighter. This is what it looks like right now. I think we're gonna go with purple. Oh, that's a very light purple here. Kind of here, <laughs> here. Look how pretty these colors are on my plate. They're so pretty, I like it. Oh my God, I love that color, that is so pretty. It is gorgeous. Oh my God, I did not expect that. I'm so sorry, I'm way too happy about that. I'm not sure if I like, like all the colors together like this, but maybe in the end, it'll look really good. I don't know. Okay, I think after the purple flower, I'm gonna paint the inside, like the little dot on the inside. I'm gonna paint that yellow. And then I think I'm just gonna leave it for what it is right now. Maybe at some point I might add some things, but I've been spending so much time on this. The purple flower isn't the best one, but it's not ugly either. This is what I have right now. I'm not disappointed in myself. Let's put it that way. Right now I'm gonna make the yellow to like do the little dots on the inside. Oh, that is so cute together. It turned out so great. The bag is done. Oh my God. I like it. It looks really good. They're not all very like even and stuff, <laughs> but I do like it. I'm kind of impressed with how I did. I expected worse, but I like it. I do. The next DOI, we are gonna make two different body scrubs with different ingredients. Well, they both need sugar, because they're sugar scrubs. They both need shower gel, and one needs coconut oil, and that's it. The other one, sugar, lime juice, honey, 
olive oil, which I didn't get, <laughs> and body wash. I have one little container, but I'm gonna make it in a see-through bowl so you can at least see what I'm doing. First, I'm gonna make the one with sugar, coconut oil, and shower gel. I had coconut oil already, but this is like hard, so I'm gonna have to like melt it. She doesn't use a lot. I will show you the DIY real quick. So she puts in a lot of sugar, but I'm gonna have to do that after. Shower gel and coconut oil. She doesn't use too much coconut oil, so I'm not sure how much to get. This is what I have right now. Tiny bit more, and then I'm gonna melt it. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Now it is liquid. I just put it in a microwave for like half a minute or so. Now I have that. I'm gonna add in the sugar. She, oh. Hi! <laughs> she does use a lot of sugar. Oh, I so do not want this to end up everywhere. They also don't really give you an amount. It's just, here you have a video with how you do it. I can always put in more. I hope I have enough coconut oil. Oh my god, it's blue. Was it smart to do this with a spoon? I don't know. Is this good? Is this what it's supposed to be like? I'm not satisfied. This is what it looks like. I'm just not sure if this is right. I think I need more coconut oil. I'm gonna go downstairs to the microwave and I will be right back. It's been in the microwave. It is so much more liquid right now. I think I can add a bit more sugar to it. <gasps> oh my God. It does look a little bit more like what it's supposed to be. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna put it in my little container thingy. Put a few stickers on it. That is the first one. Oh crap, I forgot olive oil. Hi, I'm back. Oh my god, the sun is annoying. So for the next one, we need sugar, honey, lime juice, olive oil, and also shower gel. Here is this one. First, a lot of sugar, some honey mix. Is that olive oil? What is what? Let's just start from the beginning. We're gonna start honey. <laughs> First, we're just gonna put in sugar, and she puts in some honey, Ooh. and she mixes that, so I'm gonna do that too. How do you mix this? All of the sugar is like wrapped around the honey. How do you mix this? <laughs> this is going great. I think that's the olive oil. I'm just gonna put some of it in. I have no idea how much. No one says how much, so I'm just doing something. I guess that was the lime juice. It looked like she used a lot, so... This is going very well. It's all over my hands. Maybe I need some more sugar. It's kind of like an ugly color, like kind of green. <laughs> it does kind of look like what she has, so I think it's pretty good. I want to feel it. There's so much sugar on my desk. It's hot <laughs> and it's very sticky. Ew, okay. <laughs> also sticky. <laughs> also interesting. Great, the sun is really ugly right now. I think we're just gonna leave it at this mess. I think the scrubs turn out okay. The necklace I love, the bag I also love. So overall, I would say this was a pretty successful video. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to become a part of the family. Check out my other DIYs video. And I hope I will see you next week. Oh my God, it's such a mess. <laughs>